but you need to get your hands dirty you know you need to watch tutorials you need to follow people building things you need to take a short course on ai but most importantly you don't just learn what you need to do you need to build passively absorbing information every time you're doing something so you need to build you need to show what you build to other people so basically do this every day record a video you know put yourself out there on linkedin or any other social media you know people will notice you you'll suddenly you're becoming an expert just with doing stuff the worst thing that you can do is just be scared and run away because this is too hard like we're seeing again with these trends and these jobs um, that are emerging if you don't have that skill set then the answer is yes you are replaceable Welcome to Security Beyond the Checkbox, where we interview experts who don't accept the bare minimum when it comes to cybersecurity. I'm your host, Jason Furch, and I'm joined once again by PurpleSec's Chief AI Officer, Tom Vazdar, to talk about the role of AI and whether or not it will replace cybersecurity jobs. A 2023 Goldman Sachs report estimates by 2030, generative AI will expose the equivalent of 300 million full-time jobs to automation. And we're already seeing this uh, take place in uh, cybersecurity jobs today. In May of 2025, CrowdStrike announced in, in an SEC filing that 500 jobs would be cut, citing it as a strategic move to shift operations to AI-powered solutions. In another example, a Reddit user posted in March of 2025 that AI was completely replacing their team of 80 and that they had been training the replacement for the last two years. But that's not the whole story, and that's why we have Tom here with us today to discuss how AI is shaping the future of cybersecurity jobs and what you need to know to prepare for this shift. Thank you again for your time today, Tom. Um, really looking forward to diving into this conversation. Hey, Jason, it's good to be back. So let's, I don't want to bury the lead here. I want to upfront tackle this question. Will AI replace cybersecurity jobs? No, AI won't replace cybersecurity jobs. But what AI will do, it will replace parts of the jobs, you know. And what we are seeing is a shift, actually, is a shift in industry. Because AI handles, we know that it's good in handling repetitive staff, you know, like uh, log analysis, phishing detection, like early stage triage. So this is what AI is doing really well because it's handling unstructured data. What's left? is something that's a little bit more strategic, something that's a little bit more human. And that means the role of cybersecurity professionals is evolving. It's not actually disappearing, you know. And if your value was purely in just doing routine tasks, well, those jobs will get automated. So get ready for this, you know. But if you bring context, uh, if you bring ethics, uh, judgment, you know, adaptability, well, that's something that's irreplaceable, irreplaceable because we are humans and we need to rule AI, not vice versa. The role of AI in cybersecurity kind of at a high level and and take a look at some of the use cases of AI in cybersecurity. Could you, could you shed a little light on that? AI actually plays multiple roles and this is growing really fast, you know. Basically think of this like a force multiplier right now. And it speeds up you know, detection, uh, it automates responses, predicts patterns that humans might miss, you know. And we're talking here like SOC analysts, something like that, you know. And, and one use case is using machine learning to detect anomalies in user behavior. So basically, you know, you're catching insider threats or maybe credential misuse. Um, you want more use cases. Okay, another use case is um, uh, generative AI. It's powering playbooks for junior analysts, you know, so they can act with the knowledge of a veteran. So this is awesome. You know, how, how powerful is that? You know, and, and, you know, if you want to look at the most practical use case, you know, probably, you know, automating the boring staff. Like uh, we're talking about alerts, we're talking about summaries, prioritization, you know. We can do all this stuff with AI, because basically there is also in cybersecurity, there is also lots of administration. So just use AI for anything that frees humans, you know, to focus on something that actually matters. So people should actually make decisions. And how is AI reshaping cybersecurity jobs right now? It's actually upgrading jobs, you know, and, and there's always this fear that jobs are being lost. 
but jobs are actually not being lost. You know, they're being being elevated. And analysts, you know, who used to be stuck in dashboards all day, you know, just staring at a screen, they now manage intelligent systems. You know, instead of chasing false positives all day long, and I'm referring again to the SOC analyst. You know, so instead of chasing false positives, you know. They're now orchestrating tools. They're designing logic. You know, they're digging into some complex threats. And entry-level staff, you know, they can do now basically mid-level work because AI supports them. It augments them, you know. And that raises, you know, the bar across the board. And we're moving from reactive firefighting to some actually proactive strategy. I want to definitely talk a little bit more about some of those emerging jobs um, and, and how we can prepare and, and skill up for that. but. Before we do, how do humans and AI work best together in cybersecurity? You talk a lot about augmenting and improving, and what what are what are some of those things that you're seeing and have seen in your experience? Well, I talked about orchestration, so think of it like music, you know. So basically, you need to orchestrate everything, you know. You don't want to let AI to run wild, you know. Basically, you need to conduct conduct AI, you know. And the best outcomes happen when humans actually guide the system, you know, the, when they question its assumptions, you know, and when they intervene at key points, you know, and it's not about actually who is better. It's about making each other better. So this is actually you know, how people work along with AI, together with AI in cybersecurity. But basically, you know, we see the shift in, in, in different industries also. It's not only cybersecurity that is getting impacted, but... In cybersecurity, there, there is such a great use case where we actually use AI you now to improve actually the overall security, to improve strategy, to augment people, you know, to to make them actually do something that's more meaningful, something a little bit more strategic. And then looking at how AI has impacted cybersecurity jobs, what jobs or or roles are emerging because of it? Okay, so when we talk about um, jobs emerging, you know, what we're seeing actually a whole new layer of hybrid roles. So basically, you know, there are new titles like AI security engineer, you know, we're seeing AI governance specialist, you know, so this is something that is becoming real now. And basically these are people now who speak both languages, you know, they speak security and they speak AI, you know, they understand, you know, threat modeling, and they also understand model training. So just think of previous roles. Well, maybe some of their existing roles of, of governance, you know, doing risk assessments. You need to evaluate risks. So how are you going to evaluate risks of AI if you don't understand how AI works? So how are you going to do threat modeling if you don't understand how you train models? You know, in one of the previous podcasts, we discussed uh, data poisoning. You know, how are you going? to protect your organization from data poisoning if you don't understand AI. So basically, you're talking about hybrid roles. People need to upskill. People need to learn new stuff. They need to learn AI. They need to use AI. You know? So this all this stuff is emerging because of AI. And there is now a massive demand for people who understand how to use AI. You know? Even generalists, you know, who've picked AI for prompting. You know, we know there were before they were like prompt engineers, you know, people just like like anybody who can touch. On an AI, you know, suddenly it's becoming an expert because there is a huge shortage of people with skills in AI. And basically, if you know how to work with AI tools, if you know how to validate outputs of AI, um, if you can design some meaningful use cases, well, this is actually making you really employable and you're becoming essential for organization. So there are so many jobs now emerging in cybersecurity because of AI. So it's, you know, it's not like there's a bunch of new AI roles popping up, right? It's it's these hybrid roles that you're talking about. It's it's taking existing roles, applying AI, and then and you've got this hybrid new role that's coming out. Um, just just in terms of like putting that into context, because I, I could see a lot of people that are like, yes, I really want to get into AI security. And they're looking for like these specialized roles when they're not thinking about what already exists and where the where employers are looking for that. Um, and we were talking offline uh, about uh, an open AI research report that came out. I think you had said something like only 39% of people in that report um, have actually used AI. And so we were talking about like just having 
that surface level knowledge already gives you such a competitive edge. Um, and that's where things are kind of trending in security and, and many other industries, just having surface level knowledge. And so with all of that in mind, you know, what skills do cybersecurity professionals need now that AI is here? Well, the thing is you still need your core technical skills, you know, like networking, instant response, endpoint protection, all this stuff is still important, you know, but now you've got to layer on AI fluency. That includes understanding, you know, how models work, you know, how to prompt them properly, you know, how to spot when they're hallucinating or confabulating, you know, how to interpret their outputs responsibly. And also, you know, don't underestimate communication and ethics, because this is really, really important. Because as machines, you know, start making more decisions, you know, your job becomes explaining all these decisions to other humans. And this is something that we need to understand, you know, how do you explain the decision that AI made. This is also becoming a legal question. So there are so, so many new questions now getting open because of AI. I would add on to you know having some of these soft skills. You mentioned communication is a great one. Um, I know in some previous LinkedIn reports, they talk about soft skills being the most um, uh, desired by employers. You're, you're, you're mentioning the communication side, but then also being able to take a project like AI that might be this new bright, shiny object for organizations and they're unsure of how to approach it and what to do with it. Being able to communicate that, like you're saying, and then being able to take a project through to the end to, to uh, implement AI into your operations. Um, those are all very vital. Um, and then, you know, we, we've, we've talked about this in a previous podcast as well, but what are some of the best ways to learn AI for cybersecurity? Well, the thing is, you know, when there, there is a change, and you now definitely there is a huge change coming now with AI, people get scared because they need to get out of their comfort zone. So basically, you cannot learn everything overnight and become an expert. So what you need to do, you need to start small. So basically you pick a real problem, you know, maybe, I don't know, you want to triage phishing emails, maybe you want to summarize instant report, uh, maybe you want to try, I don't know, some no-code AI tool, but you need to get your hands dirty, you know. You need to watch tutorials, you need to follow people building things, you need to take a short course on AI, but most importantly, you don't just learn. What you need to do, you need to build passively absorbing information every time you're doing something. So you need to build, you need to show what you've built to other people. So basically do this every day, record a video, you know, put yourself out there on LinkedIn or any other social media, you know, people will notice you. You'll suddenly you're becoming an expert just by doing stuff. The worst thing that you can do is just be scared and run away because this is too hard. It's hard if 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 you put it like that, but basically nothing is hard. You know, basically start small pick a problem and deal with it. Yeah, it's something new, you have to learn it, it's difficult, you, you're bad at it at first and you get better over time. That's the thing, you gotta stick with it. And like we're seeing again with these trends and these jobs um, that are emerging, if you don't have that skill set, then the answer is yes, you are replaceable. Um, so you've mentioned ethics and AI governance quite a bit here. Um, and and you know, there, there's questions like, you know, should corporations be laying off thousands of people and uh, replacing it with AI to improve things? I, I mean, what is, what is your sense of, of all that? Question of ethics is actually becoming centra central, regardless is it cybersecurity or not. Everything is about ethics when we talk about AI. Now, we cannot talk about AI and cybersecurity without bringing up fairness, uh, explainability, accountability. No. Because AI systems, they can be biased. You know, they can flag wrong people. You know, they can be manipulated. So now, you know, we need professionals who can actually question the logic of AI decisions. You know, people who can document model risks. You know, people who can implement guardrails in AI systems. So governance here in ethics is not a side topic. It's actually part of daily operation security. And this is actually, when we were talking about new jobs, you know, basically all jobs are not being reinvented all over again, because there, this is, we're talking about evolution here. And ethics plays a big part of all this development in AI, in cybersecurity. 
All right, Tom. Well, we covered quite a bit already today. Um, really do appreciate it. Uh, one last question here. What's the bottom line for, for anyone worried about their job in, in this new AI-driven world? So if your job can be fully replaced by AI, you know, maybe it should, you know, maybe that's a sign it needs upgrading, you know, but here's also some good news, you know, your ability to interpret, to connect, to decide, you know, that's actually where the real power is. You know, you don't have to fear the AI. And this is something that, that we said before, you need to learn it, you need to train it, you need to manage it. And your job is not disappearing. Your job is actually evolving into something smarter, something that's more strategic now, and something that is more impactful than ever before. So basically lean in, you know, the people who pair their judgment with the right tools are the ones who are leading us to the next chapter. Couldn't have said it better myself, Tom. Uh, you heard it from the expert himself. Get out there, go watch some webinars, get your hands dirty, start building some models, learn, learn, learn. AI is not going anywhere. It's not replacing your job either, but it will if you let it. And that means not investing in yourself. If you got any value out of this video, uh, please consider like, subscribing, share with a friend that might find value in it. And thank you again, Tom, for your time. And we'll see you all again in the next one.